more of our friends running Google Chromeflex on QMU on Linux and I'm using Arch. So I'm using the latest version of QMU 7.0.0 and to start off Google Chromeflex, I've written this script and you see it has a long name. Every time I do something new, then I add something to it. All right. So as soon as we hit enter, we have to enter a password and if QMU fires up and as you can see, I am using the UEFI firmware to boot Chromeflex. Yes, we have the Chromeflex screen initially and after some time we get this Chromevox screen reader. Uh, no, I'm not going to continue but before that let me hit the maximize button so that we can see better. Yes, you see the full screen with QEMU with Chromeflex. How interesting is that? All right. So uh, we are not going to continue with Chromevox. So I said no continue with not uh, continue without Chromevox and the clicking is a little rudimentary at first. But now you can see we can click on English accessibility uh, shutdown. No, we don't want to shut down right now. I have to show you some things. And here on the bottom right, we have a button there. And as soon as we click that, we see we have internet connected and accessibility features. Keyboard is US and the bright. I think this should be the, like the brightness or maybe something. And this is volume. All right. So but you can hear me. You can not hear what Chromeflex is saying. <laughs> Anyways, all right. So this is on, on the, the right panel is a little, um, the display is a little blinking. I don't know why, but uh, we can even shut down. I don't want to do that. So I just want to show you what works with QMU on Linux with Google Chromeflex. Okay, so let's get started. We actually started a while back. Okay, so we started and uh, we have installed Chromeflex, convert this device into a Chromeflex device. And it's all we're gonna try it first. You know what guys, I tried installing it installed but I could not boot it up so we are going to just try it from uh, the USB okay so terms of service as you can see we it correctly detected my country and I'm going to uncheck this uh, we will help Chrome later on accept and continue and it checks for updates rightly because it could detect my uh, Ethernet connection and if you see on the right there we have the latest version of Chromeflex 102 all right, so who is you going to use this? A child or you? I'm not a child, so this is going to be me and my child is not going to use it. I don't have children as of yet. All right, and uh, all right, so we sign in. Please use, a, I mean, I'm going to use a, a demo account to sign in because otherwise my uh, account is going to be locked to Google Chrome Flex. All right, so please wait and we, and oh, by the way, you can also browse as guest. Um, but I wanted to see if we could actually sign in and it seems like okay sync your device I don't want to sync right now so I'm going to say no thanks and let's see what the next screen is Google assistant was unable to load okay please you know I think we are connected but I'm I don't want Google assistant anyway so I'm going to skip and you said you're all set get started yes guys see uh, we have loaded Google Chrome Flex on QMU on Linux and yes see I mean I don't have a spare machine to try so what I'm going to do I'm going to use QMU all right so welcome screen has some perks um, you might want to take them I, 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 I'll pass it right now okay so what's new and the what's new screen is while it is loading let me try and make this full screen yes see full screen Google Chrome oh. Okay, so okay. all right, so full screen Google Chromeflex on QMU. Wow. Okay, so what's new is not loading as of now, but and to show you, I'm still on uh, Arch. You see my Arch there, Hikmat Ustad. Okay, so the full screen is a little. I don't know. The display is not active for some time. So let me close this, and I'm going to quickly show you all the features. I mean, all almost all works so that we can click around and see that this is like a functional functional installation of. It's not an installation and we are running from USB, but all I mean things are working because running it in a VM is is uh, difficult. Okay, so this is an external device. I think uh, this is will be my USB, so I'm not going to eject it. So let me close this and okay. Next up, we are going to fire up YouTube. Yeah, we like YouTube, right, guys? So that's what we are here for. Okay, so YouTube is loading up, and you know what? Uh, this is a little slow because I'm recording it at the same time which takes up like 30 or 40% of my CPU 
and I have a slow, very slow USB. Okay, again, I searched for my one of my brothers, Khabib, and let's see how he is training in his home gym. All right, let's see how it goes. If we can play this in HD and things look okay. So we have started and it wants to show me notification. No, I'm going to say block. The quality is not good. So let me see if I can click on settings and see what quality 360p. But I'm going to bump it up to 1080p. And while it is buffering, let me see if I can go full screen. Okay, see 1080p works and that is pretty cool and uh, let me see if I can go full screen. So control F and seems my brother is giving instruction to some of his friends on how to train and I mean, yeah, see, see these guys are training well. Yeah, I mean, it looks like these guys are training to use QEMU with Google Chromeplex and he's smiling too. All right, so that's all for uh, my brother's Khabib there. All right, so let me close it and next up we'll see what else we can do. Okay, so I'm launching up settings and we, I'm gonna click around so we can see that like this is a fully functional live USB uh, QMU. So Bluetooth is off. I think we could turn it on, but I would need to pass in my Bluetooth to QMU. Otherwise, um, things look good. Device personalization, I mean, I can click through. This is, okay. It's, you know, change, I don't want Google to suggest new content to me. Um, let's see, okay, full screen works while, works fine, works while, okay. Works fine and good. And if I very, and enable verified access, no, it's okay. Search assistance, security and privacy. So it's clickable and I wanted to show you one interesting thing. So if you go to device and you go to displays, uh, um, see, you can change the orientation. I didn't want to change the orientation while recording because otherwise I, I will have a problem like clicking around. But on a tablet, it will work probably. And this is what uh, the night light. Okay, so make life easier for you. Okay, see how it becomes yellow, man. Come on, I'm gonna get rid of it. But this is very interesting because it detects like I'm on a kind of a real hardware and it can change the screen thing. I mean, it's 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 interesting, right? Okay. So mouse again, you can change right and left button and you can change my mouse speed, uh, enable mouse, disable mouse acceleration. Like on Windows, remember, you can disable mouse acceleration and your mouse will work better. It's like counterintuitive. Okay, so good, good, good. Looks a look thing. And I think we are done with this uh, with, with settings. So uh, the, lastly, I'm going to fire up my welcome screen again. And remember last time, Last time the what's new screen did not load. So let me click on what's new and you see what's new has loaded. So yes, things are being loaded and it is working. I mean, internet is working. Everything is working guys. I mean, this is like, I wish I could install it, but and I fired up Google Chrome also. So you can see Google Chrome works. Everything is working guys. I mean, this is a very, very functional live USB demo of QMU on uh, Linux. And now I'm, we are done and I'm going to shut this down and let's see if we have any errors in our QMU script. Uh, let's see, let's check, no errors guys. So thank you so much guys. Take care, see you next time. Bye-bye.